Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Earthquake Magoon's home of Turk Murphy's Jazz Band. And now would you please welcome Turk's next guest from the land of the midnight sun, that tamer of Soapy Smith, the queen of the Yukon, ladies and gentlemen, Skagway Lou. Is her delight, they say. I saw Hannah at the seashore with a great big pan. And there was Hannah throwing water on a drowning man. That's hot-hearted Hannah, bump of Savannah, G.A. Skagwaylu was a name that I invented as a, to sort of a spoof uh, the poor man's Klondike Kate or Diamond Lil, who was supposed to be a dancehall type queen from the Gold Rush, uh, and the Trail of '98 went through Skagway, Alaska, and uh, she was just a uh, representative pioneer type of kind of rowdy kind of women that were in the, the good time halls of the gold rush. E-I-A-N-O-O-O -O -O. I love to stop right beside an upright or a high-toned baby grand. I love a piano. Hello, I'm Frank Somerville. Well, you've seen Skagway Lou perform, and now you're going to meet the woman behind Skagway Lou. She's sitting here right next to me, and her name is Shirley Stripling. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Frank. Shirley, could you tell us, uh, where did Skagway Lou come from? How did she come about? Well, Skagway Lou got born about seven years ago in Skagway, Alaska, where I was living at the time. And believe me, if you've ever seen Skagway with a population of 758 in the wintertime, you have to do something to amuse yourself. Uh, I was doing tourism promotion for the state of Alaska. Uh, Skagway was a perfect to have a down-home type dance hall girl who played ragtime and led sing-along for the 70,000 or so cruise ship passengers that came. Well, how is Skagway Lou different from, from Shirley Stripling, the person? In other words, in personalities, how are the two different? Well, I think Skagway Lou represents uh, those things that I've learned about life as I got older. Uh, Skagway Lou knows that uh, all you have to do, really, get along with people and to make them like you as an entertainer. As Skagway Lou says, you don't have to dazzle them with fancy footwork, honey. Just get real. And uh, I think uh, Shirley Stripling, as a musician, a very serious musician, was worried about, you know, being perfect and uh, uh, and as you get older you you learn some things about life you get easier and more comfortable with yourself and you have fun and Skagway Lou has fun now I think you had that also tells about Shirley Stripling the person and before you do that you have a little something you wanted to say oh uh, yeah well Shirley Stripling the person does uh, classical music and this is something that I did when my two sons, who are now grown men with careers of their own, were growing up. And at night, for a lullaby, I played Claire de Lune by Debussy.
love a piano, I love a piano, I love to hear somebody play. Upon a piano, a grand piano, it simply can't go away. I know a fun way to treat a stun way. I love to run my fingers over the keys. The ivories and with that pedal, I love to meddle and not just music from Broadway. I get so excited when I'm invited to hear some long-haired genius play. So you can keep your fit and your bow. Give me a P-I-A-N-O-O-O. -O -O. I love to stop right beside an upright or a high tone. Baby. 